well, I moved out. Um, she stayed, uh, and Jordan stayed with, with Tammy. The best place for her is with her mom. But that, that's not to say she's not, I'm not in her life. I mean, I spend as much time as I can with her. He has the right to know what's going on in her day, just like he would if he lived here. You know, it's, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy for the children. And, you know, as long as they understand that their love is still there, we, have, we still love them. All right, I guess we took the, the joint custody literally. We have joint custody of her, and, you know, she's still my kid. And initially, you know, we had in our divorce decree that he would have her every other weekend. And it was difficult at first because I was assuming this was going to take place, and I had a hard time relating to him that, you know, this is your weekend. He was more or less, well, I'm just getting home. The job that I'm on now, I travel a lot. When I, when I go to work, I, most of the time I go to work and I'm gone for 24 hours. Initially, Jamie was disappointed, disappointed. She wanted to spend more time with him, and when he promised that, you know, he would pick her up and he didn't come through because he wasn't available, you know, it took a while for her to get used to the fact that we couldn't really set a time, you know, we couldn't be structured like a lot of people. We, we didn't have a schedule where I, I would spend two weekends out of the month with her, one weekend out of the month. And so I had to become more flexible, and so did he. So he would just call and say, you know, I'm home. Can Jamie come over and spend some time with me? And uh, so that's, that's the way we work it now. I guess, I guess her mom understands the importance of me staying in her life, too. And that's the important thing, is to stay in your kid's life. Even though you're not in the house and having a day-to-day -day contact with them, it's important to stay in their lives anyway. It takes two to raise a child, you know, even though we're not together. But, you know, I want her to have as much of the family bond there as possible. Can you get some butter? <laughs> cool. At the beginning, I was very uh, stubborn and stern about what my decisions were going to be as far as the divorce. It was very emotional for me. And um, having to, to separate myself <clears throat> and realize, OK, this is for Jordan. This is what we have to do. It's not for my sake. It's not for Tammy's sake. This is for Jordan. We need to come to an agreement. We need to get to a resolution of whatever the, the situation may be and, um, and know that the ultimate goal and the ultimate winner is Jordan. It's not, my, it's not me and it's not Tammy. Once I started seeing the reality of it and how important it was for Jordan, that's when I started giving and we started really communicating back and forth on what was going to be the most important for her, the most important for us individually, and the success of raising this child. I just told her, you know, I'm, you know, although you, although Jordan will be living with you, you know, full time, um, I still want to be very much a part of her life. And being a part of her life is being responsible for when she's sick, being responsible for extracurricular activities. I definitely go into this every day, co-parenting. Communication is essential to it, I believe. Constant communication. I probably talk to him more now than I did when I was married to him. And we can't always put, a, put away the emotions and be like a robot and, you know, this is what we have to do to be business-like and whatnot. Um, so the emotions will get in there and um, just have to bite your tongue and just move forward and just say, okay, this is what's happening. We're both decision-making in her school, her religion, all of that is a, a combined effort. Um, we both kind of have hopes and dreams for her and putting college fund together for her. Doing a lot of things the same as we would do as married couple, but just living in two separate households. And although she's in daddy's home, her, her set of rules are not different than what she are in mommy's home um, because she needs that, that, um, that continuity and that same uh, guidelines. I think that if your decision to go through the divorce is yes, then I think that the best approach would be to handle it like a business and to uh, get rid of your emotions, work through them individually, get them set to the wayside. Um, although Tammy and I were unable to succeed as husband and wife, um, Jordan still has a mother and a father. No matter what, I'm always her father. No matter what, Tammy's always her mother. You have to express your feelings. And you have to listen. You know, it's very important to listen to what the person is saying. Don't 
try to use your kid for revenge or to get back with your ex or whatever to find out what she's doing. I believe that if she can see two healthy adults working together, um, they might not necessarily be married, but they're her parents who love her and working towards the effort of helping her succeed in life. We both are looking at what's going to benefit Jordan the most. It's not about you and it's not about him, it's about the child.